Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about Fallout 4. It has been a long time, and I haven't played it since uh, the recordings uh, from a while back. Um, before I get into the news regarding Fallout 4, um, let me just first talk about those old recordings. To this day, I'm still getting comments um, from people saying that they're annoyed with my lip smacking. Now, I have said this in the comments, uh, in those recordings, but that was not lip smacking. That was me, uh, making a clicking sound. When I lose concentration to an extreme level or I'm nervous, I tend to do that. Now, um, to be fair, this was my first time, uh, really recording for YouTube. Before this, I was Twitch streaming. On, um, Twitch, really, nobody had an issue if I made that noise, um, you know, not to that level, but, you know, if I did it here and there, it was never an issue. The other thing that doesn't make sense to me is, um, there are people who have a lot worse habits than I do. There are people who, um, will squeak their chair, click on their pins, but for some reason, those people don't get the same comments that I do. So, um, uh, I don't understand it. Um, yeah, so if you're going to be one of those commenters, at least take the time to check some of my other recordings. I have corrected my mistakes. I am taking more time to talk, and I am making sure that I do my recordings at a point in time when I can fully concentrate. So this means that I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Twitch, I am here with my microphone talking. So, um, yeah, just uh, give me a break, everybody. I mean, there are people who do a lot worse. So, uh, anyways, on to the news. So, uh, the Fallout 4 creation kit uh, went into open beta recently. Um, since the open beta, uh, there has been a lot of new mods that have been posted on uh, the Nexus website. So I'm obviously interested to see this because so far they've um, shown the most potential for modding, I guess you can say. Um, in previous games like Skyrim, modding was more or less limited in some aspects because of um, you know how much older Skyrim was in terms of the graphics and uh, all that so it was harder to modify Skyrim for like higher graphics and certain other things like uh, levels and dungeons and so on. Um, I noticed this when um, one of my Twitch friends um, streamed some of the newer Skyrim um, dungeon mods, it ended up crashing too much or um, having coding errors. So um, I think that Fallout 4 will probably run to that, but not as much because of uh, Fallout 4 being more recent and it having a better engine and everything. Um, with that said, though, that uh, does bring up some level of concern, though. Um, Fallout 4 requires a lot on the hardware um, in comparison. Um, I forget the exact technical specifications, but I remember it was something like a Core i7, uh, Windows 10, and something else. And that was just the... Uh, maximum specs. It wasn't the minimum, but uh, I get a feeling that you'll probably want to be somewhere near that if you're going to be modding Fallout 4 as heavily as uh, some people mod at Skyrim, because um, one thing I learned from Skyrim is that um, those mods do take up a lot of resources. I had around, I think, 40 mods on my Skyrim before I quit playing it. Uh, all 40 mods were 4K HD uh, retexturing and 
you know, other touch-ups uh, like flora, water, weather, etc. Um, you know, so all of that combined um, actually put my memory to 50% usage, and I think it was around 20% on the CPU. So that's actually a pretty uh, significant amount of resources to devote to the game in comparison to what it was before the mods. Before the mods, I never even reached uh, those percentages. So my point is, um, I'm thinking that Fallout 4 is probably going to be high on the resources uh, if similar mods were applied because um, I think uh, that Fallout 4 could potentially go past 4K uh, HD retexturing. If it can, uh, then that's going to really, really jack up the resources. Um, so I guess the only way to fix this is either by having a, a decent computer or hoping that uh, the modders will uh, keep that in mind uh, when they mod. Um, I know in Skyrim they did. In the Skyrim mods, they actually had a light and HD version. So if you had a computer that wasn't able to quite handle uh, the retexturing, they had a light version which used less resources and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, so uh, um, the other thing I'd be interested to see um, is if the modders can bring back uh, the workbenches from uh, Vegas. Like I said in uh, prior recordings, I think one of the biggest mistakes that Fallout 4 made um, was taking away the uh, ammo reload bench. Ammo is fairly hard to come by um, on some playthroughs. I noticed on my playthrough um, I was lacking um, energy weapon ammunition. And actually on my entire uh, playthrough I never even found a Gauss rifle. So uh, I don't know if it's luck based or something but uh, I can just say there was not enough energy uh, weapon ammunition to effectively go through the game. Um, the reason I was able to determine that was because of just how much ammo I went through um, in the game. Um, I know I used the 10 millimeter pistol and the 38 uh, pipe rifle for uh, around 20 levels. Uh, I know the pipe rifle took the most ammunition out of what I used. Um, I went through somewhere around two or three thousand rounds um, by the time that I reached level 20. I only had, I think, like two, three hundred rounds left, maybe. So that's a huge ammo drain. Um, but at that point, I started getting better levels and uh, was able to mod the hunting rifle and the sniper rifle. Um, so that kind of fixed things. Um, and maybe that's something else that they can do with the mods, is they can lower the requirements for... Uh, gun nut and things of that nature. Um, I personally think that um, the uh, the level gap in how long it takes to mod something is a bit too extreme. The, uh, the reason I'm saying that is because um, if you look at the uh, modding for automatic and semi-auto uh, weaponry You'll notice that generally semi-auto weaponry is moddable at a lower level than the automatic stuff. That's unfortunate because um, the automatic stuff is heavily reliant on the mods at higher level to actually uh, get somewhere in terms of damage when uh, being compared to a semi-auto. Um, the reason is due to the fact that uh, of how like the perks changed. With that rifleman perk, you actually um, reduce the enemy armor just by the perk alone, and you do damage. 
the automatic stuff, all it really does is just increase your uh, hip fire accuracy, which doesn't really do anything. Um, that armor penetration is extremely valuable, uh, especially late game, um, due to the fact that there are a lot of monsters that have well over 100 uh, physical defense. Yeah, so um, just some examples. Uh, this recording's gone on for 10 minutes, so I'll go ahead and end it here. Um, thanks for listening.